What are the big challenges our world is facing today? You all qualify as change makers. The attempt of this energy safari is to create an environment in which you can function and you can try and persuade those who are involved in this environment to change from what they're doing. I'm sure you're all excited to be part of this energy safari. Let's say seven minutes and the other person will only listen. On Monday, we actually started with our Theory U and with the Theory U, Monday was actually about co-initiation. So that actually entails people getting to know each other, staying in groups, forming groups, and having a norming stage with these groups. Um, they were also exposed to actually going out and meet some of these companies. Um, when you look at company challenges that are working around the renewable energy space, and uh, they had an interaction. So getting to know more about their business model, some of the challenges that they're actually facing as a company and how they're reaching out to their consumers, the users. The process is designed so that people don't immediately actually jump to solutions, but they first have two full days to get to know the problem. Tuesday, we started with actually a plenary session. On Monday, if you remember, we actually had um, visits to companies. And on Tuesday morning, we made sure to sit with the different groups to understand what is it that they actually learned when they visited these companies and to have a downloading of some of the questions that they will have prepared to actually go out to the field. So the day was actually filled with a trip out to Kitumini and, Kom and Komolo village and the participants spent the whole day uh, interacting. Um, there's some who actually met beekeepers, there are others who were working with um, understanding how mini grids work and the reason why we do the learning journeys is that we say it's a sense journey. It's just not about seeing, it's about feeling, it's about hearing, it's about touching. So that is what Tuesday was all about, actually walking in the shoes of the user so that when we are devising the solutions that we are going to put forward, these solutions actually come through um, a space that actually says that you know what it's all about. And that was all about Tuesday. My expectations from the Energy Safari are hopefully to impact the community that we have um, gotten the opportunity to visit and actually come up with real life solutions to impact that community. And in this particular um, instance is providing business opportunities for um, these vulnerable societies using um, mini grids and solar panels and yeah, renewable energy. So I'm hoping that we don't just give them hope but actually come back and impact the society in a positive way. So if you say my solution is awareness raising, then you have to think of an example activity of awareness raising. Wednesday was all about sense making. We were out on the learning journey on Tuesday. Wednesday morning, we started with 3D mapping. So downloads, but in a different format. We actually don't write this down, but we actually had activities that they had to actually map out the journey that they went through. So right now, moving from sense making and 3D mapping, we actually have moved into brainstorming. 
I think another challenge that we're going to face is changing the mentality of the people and the youth around. In this safari, we have managed to take the youth and the youth themselves to experience what is really happening in the rural areas. Um, it's a really powerful concept to engage youth in energy issues. This time we thought we will focus specifically on productive use of energy because it's a very big thing here. Um, in the rural areas around Arusha, I think many of the mini-grid developers are struggling with this. Um, and they can really help some young, innovative, fresh minds to help them crack the nuts. Thursday is all about crunch time. Prototypes are made and it's about going out to the field and actually testing it with the users. There are those who actually have to go back to Komolo and Kitumbini, but others have actually seen and devised solutions that they now have to meet other different stakeholders within the productive use of electricity um, value chain. There's going to be iterations. So getting feedback from actually the users and saying, okay, this idea actually works or it doesn't work and adding in or taking out um, any areas so that it can actually be scaled, so that it can actually be um, a rapid prototype that can be used out on the field. Um, and that's all about Thursday. Generally, as the lab, we feel that um, youth are potential future leaders in the energy transition. So it's really important to work with young people from different backgrounds to help them understand a little bit better what are the main challenges in energy and how can they be involved. It is Friday and it's actually presentation day, early morning. Uh, we basically start with um, people going through some of the iterations and making sure that they have the presentations ready so that they can actually present it to a panel of judges. We came up with a prototype uh, whereby having a power corner at the power source, supplying the electricity to the water pump. The incubator is 75% efficient, so we went to Mama Bill Gate again. We gave her our prototype, we explained everything, then we showed her the calculation. You know, our case was, uh, you know, bringing people here, making sure that they learn through the journey and do what they've done today. I'm really glad with this group. We have very motivated uh, and very diverse participants with a lot of knowledge from their own background and context. The aim of the safari is really twofold. It's about the solutions on the one hand, but it's also really about personal learning and personal development and leadership. We realize that five days is very short to tackle such complex issues, so we don't want to only focus on the solutions, we also really focus on the individuals and on the network they will ha have after the safari. The Energy Safari, it was an incredible and amazing experience that I've never had. In Energy Safari, I was able to learn more things, know how to work in a large network of people from different places where we connect energy to the solving problem in the communities, as well as how to engage ourselves and being responsible to the challenges that are facing our communities as well. So it was incredible and super. And it's safari is one of the best moments of my life because it was like one week of coming up with something big. We were like, uh, I think what I get from this energy safari was beyond my expectation. Yeah.